Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle video for you guys. We're going to be opening up the Nickelodeon Heroes in a Half Shell Super Sewer HQ playset. We're also going to start the video off by opening up two of the Ninja Turtle action figure packs. And let's actually start with the bad guys first. This is going to be Shredder and the Foot Soldier. And actually, first, before we open it, here's a look at the back. These are going to be some of the newer figures that you can collect. Right here at the bottom, there's Dog Pound and Fish Face. Here's the little playset that we're about to open. And you can also get some vehicles as well. But let's go ahead and get these out of the package. And here's both of our figures out of the package. Now, all of these are based on the Nickelodeon show. They all have like Nickelodeon on the package, as you can see right there. And it's got the Nickelodeon sign right here on the bottom of the box. So these are all based off the newer Ninja Turtle figures. Here's a look at the back. Those are kind of cool. They're, they're real small. They have a lot of detail. And then right here we have Raphael and Michelangelo. Now, these are going to be like the baby turtles. So let's go ahead and get these out of the package. And I say baby Ninja Turtles, it's probably more like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. They're definitely little though, but they're actually, they're, they're the same size as these back here. In fact, here's a look at our Shredder kind of side by side. So they're pretty much the same size as these Nickelodeon smaller figures. Now the interesting thing about these is you can actually turn them. You can turn their waist, which for a turtle doesn't really make much sense because there's their shell. It kind of separates their shell. So it looks a little weird when you turn them like that. But there's a look at both of them ready to do some battle. Now these little toys, they're definitely not sharp. They're not like the, uh, the more sharp Ninja Turtle collectibles that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. And now it's time to open up what most of you probably came here to see. This is going to be the Half Shell Heroes Super Sewer HQ playset. So this is going to be the Nickelodeon playset that goes with these smaller figures. And as you can see, the only two characters that you get with this playset is going to be Michelangelo and Splinter. I did pick this up from Target. I also saw it at Toys R Us. So it should be available at most retail stores. And before we open it up, here's a look at the back. There's a look at some of the different figures, once again, that you can collect that go with this playset. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box so we can see what all it can do. So now that we have this thing out of the package, let's go ahead and take a really close look at both the front and the back of the playset. So now that we've had a chance to look at both sides of it, I want to show you guys some of the more cooler features about this playset, starting with this yellow button right here that says kick foot. And when you push it down, as you could hear, that was Splinter talking. It says turtle power right here. It's one of the turtle shells. Let's do that one more time. We'll be mean and put Splinter right here. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Michelangelo saying kapow. So over here next, I want to show you guys, if you notice, Krang is sitting on the side of this little sewer lid. And if you push this button right here, as you can see, he goes falling through the floor. And if you notice, Michelangelo is actually kind of just hanging out right here. And you can't actually turn him around and have him face this way. He has to kind of face the wall, which makes him look a little silly. But he could also do a little ninja kicking right there. And this door right here will actually open up. We have a, I think we have a turtle on the other side of there. <laughs> Donatello was over there. So we'll put Donatello right there. So as you can see, you can walk into this building right here and over here on this side, Shredder's actually hanging out right here on the ledge. Now, the cool thing about this ledge is the, the ledge actually pops open like this. So if you want to kick them out of here, let's actually, we're going to take our Michelangelo here. We're going to slide them down the slide. <laughs> so, as you can see, it didn't work quite as planned, but you can kick some of the figures off of the ledge. 
And actually, we're gonna try that one more time. Let's try with our splinter right here. We're gonna put them up here in the back. There we go. <laughs> so that's what's supposed to happen. And this little piece, nothing really holds it on. It just kind of swings freely. And if you're wondering where uh, Splinter came from, I almost called him Shredder there. He's actually coming in from right here. So you drop him into the top of the water tower and then they come flinging out of the <laughs> front there. Now there's actually one more really cool thing I want to show you guys. Actually, I did miss one thing. This back here, it does open up. So you can kind of open this up as a little door as well. But if you notice, there's a slide right here. And the slide starts from way up here. Now it also comes with this little piece right here that you can put a Ninja Turtle in. And actually, I changed my mind at the last minute. Instead of using a Ninja Turtle, I wanna use Master Sensei Splinter. We're gonna, we're gonna take Splinter for a little ride. So we're gonna snap him in there. He's in there nice and tight. And we're gonna slide him down this slide. And this thing is like a roller coaster. I mean, they come flying out of this slide like a bullet. Watch how fast they go out of there. So let's try a uh, let's try a foot soldier. There we go, man. They go out so fast you can't even hardly see them. It's just like a blur. <laughs> and, and then Raphael got stuck. He said, "I am not going down this slide." Let's try our uh, let's try Splinter over here. I bet Splinter will go down. There we go. I guess Splitter must like the slide. Let's try our Krang right here. I bet Krang will go down that thing pretty quick. Oh, almost caught him. Almost got him when he came flying out of there. One more. We'll do one more because it's so much fun. We're going to use our uh, Donatello right here. Hopefully he won't lose his bow. There we go. <laughs> so, so there is the slide. And I'm thinking that's pretty much everything with this play set. I don't think there's anything else to it that I haven't shown you guys. Now the two pieces that it came with that you had to snap on was the top of this water tower right here and the billboard. These were actually inside of the playset in the box. So when you're buying this, you'll notice this, this isn't gonna be on there. So don't worry, it should be inside of there. Now, as far as my opinion of this playset, I will have to say I really like this thing. It's probably my second favorite playset that I've shown you guys here on the channel. My first, my favorite, is still going to be the SpongeBob Glove World. I really like that one. That one was really cool. And that's going to be the best Imaginex playset that I've seen. But as far as the Nickelodeon or the Ninja Turtle playsets go, this is going to be the best one that I've seen so far. It's really bright, it's colorful, it's a really good size, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's not going to take up like a huge chunk of your room. It's also not too expensive, it's reasonably priced, it's got a lot of fun moving parts to it, and overall it's just a really nice playset. It's sturdy too, it doesn't seem like anything's just going to snap or break on this thing. So it's definitely one that I can recommend, and I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. If you did, be sure to press the like button. This is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and as as always, thanks for stopping by.